Okay, y'all, I want y'all to tell me what y'all think. This guy has been messaging me since yesterday. Um, and today is his birthday. Like, we haven't met yet. So, um... He says he's a special ed teacher, so he's telling me a little bit about him. You know, he'll be 31. No, he'll be 32 today. You know, no kids, blah, blah, blah. And then um, he asked to see me. And I'm like, you know, it's your birthday. You think you want a first date to be, like, on your birthday? Um, and so, you know, we just chit-chatting back and forth. You know, we had supposed to went to a Mexican spot at 4.30. It's 2.20 here in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, and he kind of just been turning me off like a little bit but nothing too much like messaging me back to back to back i'm like okay um he made a post on snapchat like you know i put a heart around the the post you know just to show support and he was like if you keep doing that i'm gonna ask you to marry me tomorrow and i'm like i just didn't respond well first of all i don't think that the guy was actually serious about that you know, again, a lot of you ladies, you like to take every single thing and just read more to it than it, than it actually uh, needs to be. But if that was a problem, then why would you even put a heart around it for support? So you're sending mis mixed messages and now you want to get mad because he responded to that in the way that he responded to it. And another thing that I will talk about here is the, you know, you, you seem to be confused why he would want to see you on his birthday first of all men don't put emphasis on birthdays like that a lot of men don't put emphasis on any holiday like that that's women you guys like to do that some of y'all get to 50 years old and you want to celebrate your damn birthday like you 18 again everything is a celebration so stop downing men for not really looking at it like that like me i've had so many birthdays it's just another day i'm blessed and i'm still here and i'm very thankful that i'm still here but i'm not going to treat it the same as like when i turned 18. that's being very petty so he asked me uh later on today what are you doing and i said i'm about to go to a movie um if y'all been watching my videos i was on my way to a movie but i got stopped by a train and the train just didn't move so i just turned around and left uh, but i said i'm on my way to a movie and he was like like a date you going on a date or something and i just didn't even respond wouldn't it be the same thing in reverse if you asked him what is he what was he doing he said he was going to the movies you would assume that he was going to the movies with the woman right the majority of people don't go to the movies by themselves now when i was a kid way back in the day <laughs> you know, I would go to the to movies with my cousins um, and see movies and stuff like that. But today, most people are not going to the movies by themselves. So I think the guy that had, had every right to ask you if you're going on a date because men have to be careful out there in them streets. Men don't want to deal with women that have a date Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I think he's he he's within his rights to ask you that. And if that was in reverse, you would have asked the same thing. Because if I was going on a date, how was that any of your business? A couple days ago, I uploaded a video about the same thing where I was on, on my way to a movie. And the dude was like, uh, you going on a, on a date? And I'm just like, why are y'all asking me if I'm spending time with another man? That's not your place. You need to worry about the time that I spend with you. And there it is. You see, she is going on dates to the movies with other men this is what men have to be aware of this is why men ask these questions and the fact that she didn't want to answer it and the fact that she's getting upset just proves my point a lot of these women have dates for every single damn day of the week to use men for straight up cash or some type of activity maybe the movies maybe dinner or something like that men are tired of being played man well, I don't understand why y'all just don't get it. Because with me being like single, it wouldn't be out of the ordinary that I could be going on a date. But the fact that I don't even feel like I owe you an answer and I'm not going to answer, it's awkward. If you tell me you're going anywhere, the first thing I'm never going to ask, are you with another woman? You going on a date with you? I'm like, cool, have a good time. You're like, you want to the movies? What you seeing? You know? Stop lying. Now that's a straight up lie because women are in competition with other women. You see, the thing is, is that in the dating world today, women want you to only be focused on them. 
but it's okay for them to be focused on multiple men. And they classify it as, oh, it's just a date, it's, it's testing the market. But you're using men and you're putting yourself in situations. And the last time I checked, the movies is a pretty intimate type of situation, right? You're sitting in the darkness. You can get some rubs in. You can get some kisses in. I can't tell you how many times I done went to the movies and saw people in the movies not even watching the damn movie. So I think it's very justifiable for men to ask that because men don't want to get played. And for you to sit there and act like you would never ask that, come on, man. Keep it a buck. I don't know why dating is so hard, but I shut down and I get turned off so quick. And then also when I was at the gym working out, he FaceTimed me randomly. Okay, mind you, we never met before. And I just put a video up about me being a teeth person. And I'm looking at, I'm looking in the FaceTime and I notice that his teeth is real like cracked up. Like it's like real, you know, not the best. So I'm like, how did we even get here? And your face ain't the best. I'm gonna just call a spade a spade. Your bottom teeth are yellow. Look, my teeth are not perfect. So what? That is petty as hell. See, somebody can go change their teeth. They can go change their hair. They can go get a new wardrobe. But what they can't change is their funky ass little attitude. Their funky little entitled attitude like you. You're not all that, sis. I hate to break it to you. You know, we had a big old age to where when it comes to dental care, you got access to everything you need for your teeth to be how it is. Unless you are just okay with the way that it is, which is okay. But that don't mean like you entertaining me or entertaining another female. That don't mean that's how we want it. And, you know, I really just don't want to talk to him because of it. Everybody has access to that. You don't think that a lot of people want to go get their teeth done, but they can't afford it. You also have to take in consideration the states that people are in. The cost of living. Some people have dental insurance and it doesn't pay for anything. Everything to fix your teeth and all that, that's deemed cosmetic. That's deemed elective. So it, it's not like everybody can go out there and just get their damn teeth fixed because if that was true, everybody would get it done. Dental care is expensive as hell in the United States. That's why you have a lot of people walking around with the teeth the way they are because they cannot afford it. It's a lot for one tooth. I think that's being hella petty. And you sitting there acting like you all that and you not. That's the thing. It's like you're talking about you getting turned off and this and that because a man is questioning you. But I'm sure it's OK for you to question him. You're already giving the man a third degree talking about what he don't have, what he need to prove and this and that. But he's not allowed to ask you any kind of questions about who you are as a person. But it's OK for you to just throw people to the side and all that. You know why it's crazy? It's because you're playing games. That's why your dating experience is crazy, because you're playing games. How in the hell are you gonna get to know one person if you're constantly entertaining multiple people? This goes for men and women. There's no way that you can build a connection with somebody if you constantly dividing your time between multiple people. And the reason why you ladies are doing that is because you want to see who's gonna give you the most. You're not interested in the person. Hell, you're not even interested in their damn teeth. You're interested in what man is gonna give you the most. What man is gonna simp for you? What man is gonna let you dominate them? That's what you're looking for. You're looking for a simp. Y'all need to get off your high horse thinking that you all that. I knew before I even watched this whole video that she was lying about going to the movies by herself because women don't do that. They might do that every blue moon. They might go there with their sister. They might go there with their child or something like that. But predominantly, for the most part, they don't go to the movies by themselves. That's why that man asked you that, because he know damn well that you're going to the movies with a man. Men don't want to deal with that. He don't want to have to be in competition with all these other men that you're going on dates with to the movies. And again, the movies can be a place where a lot of things can happen. It's very quiet. It's very dark. A lot of things happen in the movies. We're all adults. We all been there. You know, come on now. Stop playing these games. 
if you don't stop playing these games, you're just going to keep on going on all these dates. You're just going to keep on getting ran through and you're going to be lonely. Lower your standards, get in where you fit in and stop playing games with men. Because look, you might be in your 30s now. You might be in your early 20s now, mid 20s or whatever it is. But that shit is going to fall off. Eventually, you're not going to even be able to go on that many dates. So you better get in where you can fit in and stop playing so many games. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.